Good morning, lights. Let us continue the very interesting topic of manifestation. The practice of manifestation is not for everyone. Many attempted the practice of the great secret, but did not always achieve optimal results, despite the incredible level of conscious awakening. It worked some of the time. But not all of the time. There appeared to be something missing from these early manifestation teachings. This is a deeper Pleiadian understanding of how manifesting works, and nothing is left out in this description. Manifesting that doesn't work so well is called 3D manifesting, and manifesting. That always works without exception is called 5D manifesting. The first step in 5D manifesting is to fully understand that you are always manifesting everything in your life, and that this is exactly what you do by default. After achieving this understanding, you must take full responsibility. For your creations, from that point forward, in all ways, being sovereign means creating consciously versus unconsciously. So, how does manifesting actually work? The left brain and the right brain are two minds, if you will, are your brains. These two brains serve a very important purpose. But they work in very different manners, and don't work together in most cases. The conscious mind is in your left brain, while the subconscious mind is in your right. The subconscious mind is the creative mind, and the left brain is the three D logical brain and the thinking mind. This creative quality. Is the first key to understanding what the subconscious mind is really like. The subconscious mind is like a fifth-dimensional mind, while the conscious mind is like a third-dimensional mind. The subconscious mind is gatekept by the conscious mind. Under normal circumstances, programs. Do not easily get past the conscious mind and into the unconscious mind. The conscious mind is like a four-eight-six computer intelligence and computer power, while the subconscious mind is a billion times more powerful and operates exactly like a quantum computer. In fact, this is where the idea. For a quantum computer originated, the subconscious mind, while incredibly powerful and multi-dimensional, learns and executes programs differently than the conscious mind. The subconscious mind works in the same manner as a tape player, automatically playing back record programs that rule every aspect of daily life. Program knowledge 
sets body function programs, belief systems, ways of thinking, ways of feeling, and ways of being what we are meant to be. The subconscious mind has access to very advanced universal complex data and computers that are faster than the speed of light on top of its daily down-to-earth functions. The subconscious mind is directly connected to your higher self as well. Access to your subconscious mind is required to access your higher self. The subconscious mind runs 97% of one's daily life. And this mind has been in control and running the show since the day you were born on earth. As it is outside the range of consciousness, perception, there is little or no conscious awareness of the subconscious mind's programs or operations. In every moment, this quantum mind controls your breath and heartbeat. Which mind is responsible for manifesting? The conscious mind, also known as the left brain, is where you conceive and visualize your dreams and desires for what you want to manifest. This mind generates ideas, dreams, plans, lists, visions, affirmations, positive thinking, gratitude and focuses all of its power on its desire. The problem is that the conscious mind has nothing to do with the actual manifesting process, which is why failure to manifest a desire is so rare. The subconscious mind on the other hand is a quantum mind that operates beyond time and space and is the sole mechanism for instantly collapsing a probability waveform. The subconscious mind immediately creates matter from energy or light. Did you hear what I said? The manifestation has no time gap because the quantum mind works outside of time as well. As space. It is not about the things, we're just making a point about what's possible when you use your subconscious mind. So far so good, but there's a serious problem at this point. Almost every program installed in your subconscious mind on earth since birth is disempowering. And because this mind attracts like energy to itself, it manifests all kind of disempowering things into our lives. And it has been from the beginning. The subconscious has been filled with bad programs for almost every being on 3D Earth. Fed in from the matrix and past habits, and experiences mostly composed of trauma and drama. These disempowering programs have immediately manifested as one disempowering event after the other. We say it again, the subconscious mind, this powerful quantum mind, runs 97% of everything in your life, every moment think of it, attempts to visualize and create a better reality using normal conscious mind, manifestation methods to try to overturn any bad program will fail every time. Because the subconscious supercomputer mind will rise up and overturn any conscious mind manifestation plans, in every case the subconscious mind will prevail and win. This is exactly what it was intended to do and how it was created. Then they may ask, do you create your dream and desires in your conscious mind? What can I do 
if the conscious mind has little or no effect on the actual manifesting process, and the subconscious runs the show and is full of disempowering matrix programs. Running 97% of my life. To manifest something into the physical world, one must first recognize that they must work directly with the subconscious mind. With one exception, this is close to impossible as you can get because the subconscious mind is off limits to you. Only during an alpha brainwave state can programs be directly entered into the subconscious mind. So where does the alpha brainwave state come from? The alpha brainwave state is a relaxed state of being that resonates from 18 to 12 hertz and occurs after the left brain thinking has stopped. The conscious mind begins to synchronize with the right higher subconscious mind in this state. Alpha is a super learning state in which access to the higher self is granted through the right brain, opening up a whole new world of unlimited possibilities. I hope you enjoy this message. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Do you ride?